so what I've done hmm, to arrange that better so we've got I put the code in here and what we have here is we're setting it as an input and then uh, setting it as a high output and then setting it back as an input and then setting it back as a low output that's the three um, states of a trinary which is what we're, we're developing we're developing a trinary controller okay now to distinguish it from tri-state because tri-state is not this tri-state is when you set a bus in open circuit so that something else can drive it right and what we're here doing here is we're actually using the input state on the um, pin as a third state so that we're actually using three states all together so that's not a binary tri-state output that is actually trinary and so that's what we're doing here and that maps to the outputs as well on the motor because the outputs the actual high current high voltage outputs to the motor are actually trinary you are trying to uh, affect a PWM but you also want to be able to switch it off and that translates to an input here and so we have the three states and if I oops, wrong keyboard and wrong window <laughs> so if I now see that's okay and then you can see that it's alternating between um, the three states Right, with it basically the high and low state, but with an intervening off state between them, and you can see that there's there's obviously a pause. You see what we've got there is we're actually showing the outputs, and this is the circuit. Now, you can see on the low part, I've actually got a PMP transistor in there where I've got it across the emitter and the get and the base, and all I really wanted to do was just simply put a volt. I only had. <laughs> I had an NPM, but I'd blown it, so I just put PMP in there just to get the gate voltage, right? And so we've got an LED and the gate of a transistor, it doesn't really matter. Uh, not the gate, the base, base emitter junction of a transistor, right? So that's 0.7 plus the um, diode, which is uh, 1.5. So that's 2.2 volts. So you need you need 2.2 volts to actually dissipate that. Probably need an extra diode in there to do it properly, but there you go. And then on this side, what I did is I just bought an LED and a 100 ohm resistor, just you know. So you basically got a circuit both sides. And what happens is the output itself, right, goes between 3.3 volts, which is the high voltage, right, and the ground. But it also goes into an input where it's not actually outputting at all, and so therefore it's just simply you're relying on the circuit between that without the actual output there and the idea is to make sure that there isn't enough voltage across it now the full voltage across rail to rail is 3.3 .3 volts you've got 1.5 volts on that LED and then you've got 1.5 on, on that LED plus the 0.7 on the base emitter junction of the um, transistor so that's 3.7 volts you'd need 3.7 volts to turn both of those LEDs on and obviously the transistor right? and the rail to rail voltage is only 3.3 .3. so when there's no output from the Raspberry Pi those two LEDs don't light up because there isn't enough voltage to uh, to light them and that's the idea you see and that translates here so that when they're off in fact I should leave it in the off state let me just alter this <coughs> excuse me so that we leave it in the off state which would be there, I'll just stick an extra one in there don't need to sleep yeah. ok, so I've just added that in and we'll make it only do 10 alright, because I keep repeating it so it doesn't matter alright and then go build and there you'll see flash 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 right and then the last state is off and you can see now neither LED is lit so we actually have three states which means it's trinary out it's a trinary output we have three states on it
instead of two which is binary okay and so we can see that working and what I'll do is I've prepared a loop you see pause with it because it just restarts it see so which one is which right so the red LED is LED 1 in this circuit with the resistor against it and the green LED is LED 2 so when the output goes high you'll see LED 2 come on and when the output goes low you'll see LED 1 come on and when the output is a, an input <laughs> when the pin is an input, then neither of you on. So the first LED that will come on will be the green one, and you can see it is. It's 10. See? It's the green one first. So that works. And I'll publish all this.